Uh, we need to shuffle it. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Virgo, the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. King of Wands, and it's with the Eight of Wands. Now, the King of Wands can indicate a man or a person who, who could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it can go either way. This person would want to serve as a mentor for you. The King of Wands is actually very positive when it's not representing an actual person in your life. It can signify that men around you are supportive of you and they think well of you. So you could be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and you could have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind. Now, it's with the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, it shows that there could be a lot of things up in the air when this card appears in a reading. So you could feel frustrated, maybe tired of waiting. But this card is actually an indicator to be patient a while longer. You've probably already done all that you can do. And now decisions, they have to be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead. Don't try to force things because it could backfire on you. Just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. So, Virgo, recent past energy, King of Wands, clarified that this Eight of Wands. Well, what this is telling me is that There's somebody that you could have wanted to protect or someone that you had emotions for. Because like I said, the King of Wands is a very protective type of energy. Um, caring and protective. So yeah, this person, that's how you felt about them. So you could have been reaching out to them. A lot of communication, that's what I'm getting with this Eight of Wands. It could have been back and forth, back and forth, communication, talk, discussion. For some of you, your person, they live long distance. Yeah, somebody that you really care, cared about. I don't know, if maybe this person you felt like you needed to be their protector or... Um, maybe you try, maybe you were trying to save this person or something. Yeah. For some of you, your person, they live long distance. Because I'm looking at the bird that's in this picture of the Eight of Wands, the card below the word pass. He's flying in the air above the wands. Yeah. Someone you really cared about. And you feel like you needed to protect them. That's what keeps coming up in my head. Yeah. But anyway. Anyways, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so. We got the hangman, and it's with the devil. Okay, so with the hangman, you have to remember um, that this card, it's, it's about crossroads. Or you could be feeling like you're at some type of crossroad. It would be one with only two type of options. For example, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. So, 
if this happens, it could be a sign to stop, relax, maybe took, maybe take a look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, situations, maybe a person or people or things. Because it's possible that there is an outdated attitude or maybe a wish that you need to let go of. Yeah, any sacrifice that you make, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So this should be a thoughtful, reflective time. Especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might best serve your interests by being willing to change. Now, it's with the Devil card. When you get this card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, you want to be sure that you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it will be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You could have a feeling that you're not in control of your life. Now, sometimes this will happen as a result of your own actions. But more often, it's a byproduct of inaction. So take action whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's just merely a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Because we all know that small baby steps, they're important too. So coming up, Virgo, hangman, clarified by the devil. Yeah, so I don't know who this person is. Maybe it's a love interest. This um, eight of wands. This person that you're trying to protect or someone that you're, you care a lot about. Um, you're having all this communication with. Like I said, for some of you, this person is long distance. But coming up, you can start to feel you're, you're confused about what to do with this person or what to do with the connection. Because with the devil card here, it's indicating that this person could have some addictions. Yeah, devil card can be about addictions. For example, maybe greed, maybe envy, materialism, jealousy, obsession, sexual lust. Addictions could also be drug abuse, alcohol abuse. Yeah, or maybe they just have, maybe this person just has some type of toxic behaviors or just some type of devil energy. Yeah, so Maybe that's why you feel like you have to protect them or help them. Yeah. Somebody you're trying to save here. That's what I keep getting. But you're coming up, you're confused. You're, you're stuck in your head about what to do. The hangman is about yeah, being stuck in your head. Not sure. In or out. Up or down. Yes or no. Should I stay? Should I go? Yeah, this person is, they might be a lot to handle just by looking at the devil card. Because you got, if you take a look at the devil card, the card that's below the word present. You see those two people at the bottom? There's one man, he's feeding his face nonstop. Nonstop, 24-7. And he's got a huge belly. And then the other person at the bottom that's sitting right next to him is a lady and she's just turning up the bottle nonstop. And her eyes are bulging out of her face. So yeah, I'm getting that this person is a lot to work with. So you're not sure what to do yet. 
You're confused. You care about this person. Yeah. But let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. Okay, so. We got the magician. And it's with the will of fortune. Now, the ma magician is actually a card that signifies new beginnings, great expectations. This, this card, it reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the world if we simply try. Just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. We all know the magician is about action, so if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something, because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. Now, this magician is with the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands actually signals victory, so if you're anxious about a court proceeding, or if you want to win your lover's heart, just know you will be victorious. This can indicate some kind, kind of celebrations. You could be a part of a graduation party, commencement celebration. Or maybe you're receiving a reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands can make you feel really good about yourself. You may feel as if you got a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand... You could adore someone else, but where adoring them makes you feel amazing. So, your challenge for a go. The Magician, clarified by the Six of Wands. So yeah, like I said, your person is whoever this is that you're trying to protect or you care about. They could be draining you in some kind of way. Emotionally, maybe. Because the hangman is showing that you're stuck in your head. You could have tried talking to this person a lot. A whole lot with the Eight of Wands here. But they're just they're stuck in their addictions. Or they're, they're just too toxic. Or they just have some type of devil type of energy but the challenge is saying that you're ready to go for a new beginning you're ready to manifest because the uh, magician is about manifestation powers yeah you're ready to to go towards a new beginning you're ready to create and manifest probably a new life I'm not getting it's with this person. I'm getting it's with someone that you feel that you could be victorious. Very victorious with. Because the Six of Wands, the card below the word challenge. That's all about victory. It's all about success. It's all about recognition. Yeah, I don't know if you're thinking about someone that you know already where you could be thinking about the kind of connection that you want but for some of you it's someone that you already know that you want in the beginning with and you know that there's um already something good there but you haven't you haven't reached out to manifest it yet but it looks like the challenge is that you could be going towards a new beginning towards this person now, I like the Six of Wands for uh, couples, for relationships, because it, it indicates that um, um, Six of Wands indicates that, for example, you could be the type of person that uh, needs someone to boost your ego, while the other person, they're perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is called fire of balance. 
the two of you feed off of each other energetically. With this, you get a lot of sex sexual energy. And you get a lot of passion and long nights spent in bed. So the chemistry is just off the charts. It's crazy. So for a lot of you, you know someone like this. And that's where you're trying to go. You're trying to get a new beginning in that direction. Because if you look at the Six of Wands, you see how she's, it's a card below the word challenge. You see how she's standing on the podium. She's waving her wand in the air from side to side. And she's got all these people below her. They're mimicking her. They're mirroring her. They're doing exactly what she is. She likes the attention. And they like giving it to her. So, yeah, there's someone that you're thinking about. That you've got a great connection with. And you're trying. And it looks like you're trying to manifest in that direction. Yeah, you're dealing with someone now that could be taking you through the ringer. With this devil card here. Yeah. I just want to say for some of you. I'm just looking at the devil card. For some of you. you this person. This recent past person. That you're dealing with still. That's causing confusion. For some of you. You both have. Some toxic ways. When you two come together, it's an unhealthy mix. But for others of you, it's this person that you're dealing with that's just, they got too much going on. That's unhealthy. But yeah, you're manifesting. It looks like you're ready to move on. You got the wand in your hand. And it looks like you know where you want to go. Somebody that you know that you, you, you got something good with. Or you could have something good with. But anyways, let's move on over. And let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got the Page of Wands and so the Will of Fortune. Now the Page of Wands can be warm, ambitious, high, high achievers if this is not an actual person, the Page of Wands. It can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So, with this type of energy, it's important to try to stay focused. This card, it can indicate that things you started some time ago, they could start to come to life. Maybe start to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page brings a positive energy. However, you have to supply the follow through because of this energy of easy distraction and needing to try to stay focused. Now it's with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a card that actually reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times, whether it's bad times, it passes. Because the wheel is constantly turning. Yeah, it never stops. It's always in motion. So if suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective. As that too. Like everything else changes, so you have to live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is actually outside of our control, but that's even okay. Roll with the changes and think positive. So your outcome, Virgo, page of wands, clarified by the will of fortune. So yeah, it looks like you... You could be reaching out to this person that you you know that you have a lot of great chemistry and um, you could have a lot of success with this person. Mes the Page of Wands, it can be a message bearer, messages of love. I'm very excited to 
go towards someone and that's how you're feeling you're ready to pick up that phone or send out a text you're ready to holler at this person yeah you got a lot of passion for this person Virgo or the both of you could have passion for each other because I'm just looking at the wands that are in the six of wands and then you got a wand there with this page that's a lot of wands the wands can be about passion so there's passion there on both ends so you're reaching out coming up and it's it's indicating you're gonna have a lot of luck yeah the will of fortune is here it's in your favor fortune is in your favor you're gonna have a lot of luck with this person so if some of you are thinking that you should not reach out or some of you are hesitant it's saying that now is a good time it's saying you will um, have luck because like I said the will is about fortune being in your favor so that is the reading that I have for you Virgo I hope you enjoy the reading I hope it resonates as you know general readings they do not always resonate with everyone then again if you like the reading please comment subscribe hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation and what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. Let us all thank God that things are not worse than they could be. With this crazy virus season out there so hang in there take a care come back and join me for the next virgo reading just in case this did not resonate maybe the next reading will also keep in mind when you get the readings the roles of the people can be switched yes meaning they could be reversed you could be them or they could be you and if you're not dealing with anyone romantically the other person actually be a friend a family member a co-worker or a situation so just take the reading for however it resonates because once again these are general readings they're not personal readings so Virgo I can never say it enough thank you so much for watching I hope you have a great day hope to see you at the next reading and take care